Hi and welcome back. Today it's finally time for a long awaited video. And it's about these guys. Yes, I am about to remove the rings out of a purple, I was going to say. It's a very hot pink uh, planner, file fax, pocket size. And what I am actually doing is I'm not going to drill a hole through the rivets. That's not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm sort of um, filing down the edges of the rivets, I think you could say. So I'm moving the drill uh, around and in different angles. And as you can see, angle is kind of key word here. Uh, so it's not straight up, it's a very angled position. And I will tell you this, it's a bit heavy, heavy to do this. Um, I know it looks like I'm doing it effortlessly, but it was actually quite heavy. And it takes a bit of time, so I'm just telling you. It's nothing, I mean, I could do it, so I'm pretty sure you could do it as well. Um, and if you have a friend close by that, you know, happens to have nothing to do other than hold your planner, that's actually quite a good tip because then you can use both hands because if you decide to use both hands to drill, what happens is it spins. I'm going to show you this here. So here, it spins. I have actually finished the bottom part of the planner, but I really wanted to <laughs> to show you how it looks when it spins so here you see here I'm holding it with my hand I'm tired in my arm but it works right uh, but then I decide to you know just try see if I can let go of it yeah it spins anyways that's the basics of it um, you just drill 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 until you can finally lift the rings off. So that's the first part. The second part is the bit scary part, I would say, actually, because you are going to cut into your uh, planner now. And I am using an exacto knife. I think there are other options, but that's what I'm using. Uh, because I want to get rid of the backing plate and having done this on two planners I would say that this varies a lot between different planners and I, I know that it, that could be the case between say two Maldens that one Malden is extremely easy to, to get rid of the backing plate and some Maldens are very nicely glued together so it's very hard instead so I was very lucky when I did it with my Malden and I was a bit more unfortunate when it came to this planner so at first I had a very hard time just getting into the backing plate as you can see uh, and then I used all sorts of tools to remove the the glue so first I just thought that this piercing tool would do it, you know. Uh-uh. It did not. So after a while of poking around with my my piercing tool, I finally <laughs> decided to grab a brush. And I really thought that this would do it. Uh-uh. I Actually, <laughs> I worked on this hard and long and until I realized finally that I actually had to cut it open on both ends because that did not do it. So I had to open it up from the top as well. So I'm making a cut again and I am... This time it actually just needed a bit of uh, poking around with the piercing tool. And you are going to see magic. 
because soon yes there we go the backing plate is out and this baby does not have any rings anymore so next part I'm using a this is actually a leather tool and I don't know if there's any better options out there this was not the perfect tool because it was very nice on the outside but it did not really cut through cut through the fabric on the inside um, but it did the job fairly okay so I guess it's okay um, and I'm using eyelets to sort of reinforce the holes but mainly because I think they look cute, I admit it. Um, and I, to me that sort of gives it a more finished look. I would have preferred black eyelets, but I only had gold. Poor me, I know. Um, so, uh, the first eyelet is in. Then I'm going to keep it in because I'm going to measure out where I want the second one to be. And to do so, I'm using another eyelet to sort of make a dent in the material. And then I'm using the punch again. And as you can see, I really have to twist it about. And it doesn't really get through the fabric. But yeah, I, I am stubborn. <laughs> so I got it to work. And I actually used the knife to just, you know, cut through the last piece of material. And when you are finished with this side, with both eyelets, it's a matter of repeating the process on the other side. When you are done making holes, uh, it's time to close those, <laughs> those eyelets up. Sorry for the shaky camera. <laughs> um... And if you have decided, no, I don't want any eyelets, you can just skip this part. But yeah, <laughs> um, you have to just hammer it. And the next step, I guess I could have done before making the holes, but I did not. It's the simple process or simple it's uh, the tricky process of uh, gluing your planner back together to close up that hole. Um, and I didn't really manage to do so in a way that I really liked myself. So I would probably put something on there. Uh, I still have to decide what to put there. So if anyone got any tips or tricks or, you know, ideas, just hit me up below and I will thank you forever. When I have given up on the gluing part, I bring out my different colored uh, strings. I bring the string out in one of the inner eyelets and back in in one of the outer. And then out in one of the outer eyelets. And then I bring it back in in the remaining eyelet. And I finish the threading part by pulling the strings so the strings are nice and tight. And I finish it off with a reef knot. Yay! I just had to look that up what it's called in English. Uh, I used to be a scout when I was smaller. So that's one of the knots that I actually managed to still use. Well, I guess we all use it. Well, anyways, it's tied together and it's... Uh, finished. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful uh, and if you have any any questions please let me know down in the comments and I will try to answer them as best as I can and thank you so much for watching and I hope I get back to you soon. Bye!